And we will get started now that we have everybody here. Call the meeting to order. Good morning, Board of Supervisors and public. My name is Monica Mukai. I believe that the videos speak for themselves, so that I ask the question, how we as a society allow this to happen and continue to allow it to happen. Please play. I take you as my husband. I take you as my husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Can you turn up the volume, please? Okay, now you gotta you gotta repeat after me or you gonna... yeah. say I Ryan. Well, I know. Hopefully, it's the last time you do it. I'm getting married to Okay, do you want to just put the ring on Sean's finger? Are you promising to be his husband forever and love him no matter what? Until you're not alive anymore, till you're gone? And even after that, probably? Yeah? So, tell him that and put the ring on his finger. It's not a bad So now, if you want to take Ron, or Ryan, I'm saying my own husband's name, I'm sorry. So now, if you want to take Sean as your husband for the rest of your life, you need to give a symbol so he'll know that and he'll remember it, like you have this ring on your hand. So now you put that ring on his hand. That's your gift to him. Push it all the way up. Yeah, right there. That's good if it's hard to get on it, if it's hard to come off. Push it on there. Push it harder. Okay. Save Thank the time, you. please. Yeah, next video, please. Do you, uh, you're going to be taking today. the time on this one? Um, if you're shown any photographs or videos. Yeah. Where's the video? Who told you that? We only have Thank two speakers so far. Oh. Hey, Pete. Hold okay. on one Can sec. Stop? Oh. Can you stop oh. the time, please? Because we have this time very specifically. The um, IT folks were emailed yesterday. To no, no, we're okay with that, but you only have two cards, two speakers. Mr. Chairman. Oh, there's five of us. Mr. Chairman, we have... Following Monica, Genesis Hopkins, Ruby Edwards, okay. Julie Hermes, and Edith Rogers. And IT was instructed to play them continuously. Yeah, no, we're okay with that. We just want to make sure you had all your speaker cards. So in. can we please make sure that we get everything okay. and even if the time is up? Yeah, you were about 40-some seconds when it Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get upset today. Can you um, turn it up, please? You're shown any photographs or videos. Yeah. Who, who told you that? Son, 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 Scott, son, son, told me. Sigh, scream. Ah! Did, did. Someone tell you to to scream today? Yeah. Who who told you to Sean. scream? Sean. Sean told you to scream? Yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried. What else did Sean tell you to do today? Sean told me. Oh. Are you gonna be gonna I'm be just turning it off. It's buzzing. Are you gonna call the police? Why would I call the police? Am I in trouble? Because. Okay, answer the question. Yeah. The question was Did Sean tell you to do anything else today? Yeah. What? Playing this battle. To do what? In this battle. To win this battle? Yeah. Okay. And how did he tell you to win this battle? By 
by screaming. By screaming. Uh, do you still want to be married to Sean, or do you just want to be friends with Sean? I'm on a fan fan. exception of Chairman Washington. I am here this morning, unfortunately, to share uh, so not so great, some not so great news with regards to a concern that was addressed on the enterprise uh, just back on March 5th of 2018. You may have or may not have read the top story about uh, my uh, nephew, who is 24 years old, with cerebral palsy and has the mentality of a, a kindergarten level. Um, the concern that I have is that we have a, a Honorable Judge Sunshine Sykes making a determination on the trial that concluded uh, this Friday, and unfortunately, I believe that she has been depending on the investigations and the agencies, the county agencies, that are um, are are taxpayers' dollars to uh, address the concerns that she is going to be ruling upon. And unfortunately, I sincerely believe that there is a grand cover-up uh, amongst county council, the probate court investigators, uh, the county, uh, or excuse me, the court-appointed attorneys, Brown, White, and Osborne, the public guardian's office, and lastly, the adult protection services. And the reason why I mention this is that uh, Judge, uh, Judge Karaman had requested upon receiving this um, uh, concerned brief, basically, from an organization dealing with dependent adult abuse by the Spectrum Institute, Judge uh, Karaman ordered the Adult Protection Services to do an investigation of three individuals, at which time, unfortunately, the investigation was done by an individual who was new, a new social worker with, with the uh, APS. She had never done any um, investigations. This was her first investigation when it came to sexual abuse. She interviewed my nephew in the presence of the perpetrator and the perpetrator's mother-in-law, who had attempted suicide just this past October. Uh, the probate court investigator who was supposed to interview Ryan one-on-one -on -one and face-to-face -face the first year uh, acknowledged that he had not done so, even though it's mandated by law. Um, there are numerous concerns, and the reason for my presence being here this morning is that I'm asking at this point, and the investigation with the Adult Protection Services was all undetermined. Only one of the three people that the judge had ordered to be investigated was questioned. So there are two other people that have not been questioned, and yet this is an undetermined APS investigation. All right, let me call for the record the case of Mount Lion Acquisitions versus Mark Flory. Counsel's appearance? Yes, good morning, Your Honor. John Marshall for the plaintiff. Good morning, Your Honor. Mark Flory, in pro per. All right, Mr. Flory, I'm going to enter judgment against you on the sum of $4,222.91, giving you the benefit of the doubt on the interest rate. But I am going to enter judgment in that amount, $4,000. $222.91, and I'm going to sign the judgment, and I'm going to find the evidence absolutely overwhelming that Mr. Flory applied for this loan, obtained the proceeds, made payments for um, a number of months, and then defaulted. Mr. Flory, I need to ask you, because I'm seriously considering referring this matter to the state bar because I think you committed perjury in your testimony. And it's something I've said maybe only two or three times um, in the 25 years I've been on the bench. Uh, but I find it very disturbing. Are you practicing law at the moment? Yes, sir. Are you a member in good standing of the state bar? Yes, I am. Um, I'm very troubled by this. And I'm going to consider whether it should be referred to the um, state bar. But in any event, I'm entering judgment against you, as indicated. You made a bargain with um, um, Cash Call, and being an attorney, you should be held your word. 
even more so than an average layperson who uh, lacks the sophistication and knowledge that you have. But I think you put on, uh, and I'll put in a minute order that the defense was a total sham. And fraudulent and false. And then Mr. Flory's testimony was fraudulent and false. And the court finds it offensive to see a member of the state bar engage in such conduct. And that attorney is with Brown, White, and Osborne, this county's law firm that represents my nephew. Mark Flory represented my nephew through two trials in 2018 and 2019 and has submitted an appeal to place Ryan right back with the abusive husband and the abusive foster mother, adopted mother, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Board of Supervisors. I'm Julie Hermes, a surviving victim, Respect Life Advocate. I am here today to speak with you regarding the broken system with the State of California Family Court and Probate Court. I'm beginning, I'm beginning with a relevant, compelling, and soulful quote by our country's most reverend civil rights leader, Martin Luther King, Jr. Our lives begin to end when we become silent about the things that matter. On November 10th, 2014, five years ago, my mentally incapacitated husband, Wayne Stephen Hermes, and I were thrust into the California family court system by greedy predatory attorneys who stole our lives. They stole our lifelong earnings, our estate, for their own personal financial gain, financial exploitation. Since then, my husband has been isolated from me and held hostage, highly organized crime, racketeering, a RICO operation. Our identity of Mr. and Mrs. Wayne and Julie Hermes has been changed to the court ID number 14D010030, just as people's lives were stolen in the concentration camps. My grandmother Maria escaped Nazi Austria for a better life of freedom in America. History is repeating itself in the form of a modern day Holocaust against disabled, mentally incapacitated people within the corrupt court system statewide, locally, and nationally. Our civil and constitutional rights have been violated. I have not been given a fair trial by officers of the court. Judge, Judge Daphne Sykes, Department L-64, and Judge Sandy Liel, Department L-69 of the Lamarose Justice Center, Orange County Superior Court, State of California, along with crooked attorneys, Ronald Jeffrey Isles of Ontario, California, Bradley Knipstra, Newport Beach, Grant Stephen Hermes, Newport Beach, Maggie Simon Oxquazo, Newport Beach, and attorney Tracy Willis, a Center for Children and Family Law, Orange, California. Today we stand united. Julie Hermes, Mana Mukai, and Edith Rogers, surviving victims of the United States of America, seeking rescue and freedom for Mr. Wayne Stephen Hermes, Court ID number 14D010030, Mr. Ryan Morris and Ms. Edith Rogers. United we stand. I thank you, Board of Supervisors, for this opportunity to voice my beliefs and my opinion. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I believe we have one more. And you're, you're, rapid, you're the closer. 
really appreciate the opportunity to come before you once again. The last time I was here, Mr. Priamos indicated that um, what I was saying happened years ago, and it did not affect anything that was taking place in our county today. That is furthest from the truth. Back in 1994, I filed a complaint along with my mother, who is deceased now. The judge, the Honorable Judge David Watts, ruled in our favor and stated that the actions taken by the county of Riverside was wrong and they were done because we were black. We um, appealed that matter. We have not heard any. It's been over 20 years of silence. But because I exposed the wrongdoing of the housing authority for the county of Riverside and Washington made them utilize the funds correctly, they launched a retaliation against me and my family that is ongoing today. In the courts, the Superior Court now, a state case for the estate of Roscoe Sapp. Um, my father, my grandfather died in 1994, leaving an estate worth well over millions of dollars. That estate has increased in value tremendously. They have supposedly found what's referred to as a rare earth. And now the judges and the county officials interchangeably between San Bernardino and Riverside are networking and has subdivided out property from the probate and sold it to themselves. And we have that now. We filed um, charges. We're waiting to see where that will go. But of course, everybody has fear of coming against a judge or the attorneys. Right now, in that case, they removed me because I talk too much. <laughs> but um, now what they're doing is they're trying to appoint David Horsepool, who is a known thief, who has faced these kind of charges multiple times before, to try to co-administrate this estate so that they can have what's called as a fire sale. And they would put the property up and sell it for pennies on the dollar. They will have a straw person or somebody within their family or agency to come up and purchase the property and then turn it over. Um, we feel that we have the right to get fair market value for what our grandfather worked for for years. It was, um, he was one of the first um, homesteaders in Victorville, Apple Valley. Um, it was, the deed was signed by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Um, I do have all the deeds for anybody who would like to review them. All the documents, every accusation that I have set forth, I have proof, transcripts, um, certified everything. I would like, instead of someone being assigned to gather the information so that the county can better position their opposition to us, I would like somebody to be assigned that's going to take the information and work with us to come to a real resolution. All right. thank, you so thank, thank you all very much. Thank you.